the government has recognized the role played by Arsino miners in the rural communities, changing lives and bringing uh, those small economies into light, uh, supporting families, and uh, for sure needs to be supported. The Mining Act 2016 has provisions for Arsino mining. And uh, we're actually not just supporting it, it is in the law that uh, the mining sector recognizes Axino mining. We're now in the process of licensing Axino mining, which will be done at the county level, county level, led by our regional mining officers, working closely with the county officers. And again, as you said, uh, we've decentralized the mining sector, which, has the, which is the mandate of the national government. But I think to reap huge fruits from this sector, it's important we work with the counties. Uh, we realize that the area of health and safety, which I'm very, very um, passionate about, uh, you know, ensuring that everybody go home safe, whether you are small scale miner or large scale miners. So we have uh, work to produce regulation of the, um, of the health and safety. And more importantly, the board is looking at establishing um, help, advising the CS to establish what you call mine rescue teams, which I mentioned earlier, that uh, people are able to save um, themselves or the team that can be able to go and help if, if someone is buried or in some way in trouble. Um, um, the area also with the NEMA, NEMATA, we have been um, in conversation with them to, to assist in the same area. Uh, as, as I said, um, uh, sometimes uh, mining industry is not, is, is, can be complicated, especially when it comes to the chemicals. And uh, for us is to also ensure that NEMA is equipped to deal uh, particularly with that side of mining. Um, in, in, in very distinctive way.